my name is Manya Pande and I am from West Des Moines, Iowa. I'm a freshman at the University of Iowa majoring in public health on the pre-med track and I am the president and founder of Love for Red. So Love for Red is a student-founded and majorly student-run 501c3 nonprofit organization that I began my sophomore year in high school. We mainly focus on fighting period poverty in Iowa. So period poverty is essentially the inaccessibility of menstrual hygiene products in education. And this is a massively prevalent issue in communities throughout the world, including the United States and including our own communities. Research says that a third of low-income women couldn't afford menstrual products and many of those had to pick between food or period products. We work to fight this issue through various means such as service, education, and advocacy. Service being we donate menstrual products to people in need and also to other organizations in the community who directly serve individuals in need. Those being homeless shelters, resource centers, medical centers, schools, women's shelters, you name it. Our biggest project right now is providing menstrual products to schools. So one in four menstruating students miss school due to their period and they risk missing up to a quarter of the school year because of this. So we want students to have access to free menstrual products so inaccessibility is not an inhibitor to their academic success. We've also had community outreach events to educate the public about these issues and we create educational social media posts to spread awareness about stigmatized topics relating to menstrual and reproductive health. We also believe that true change will come from legislative change. So we've been beginning our advocacy journey as well. One thing I want Iowans to know is that periods are just as natural of a process as breathing, eating, going to the bathroom. So access to menstrual products is not a privilege but a necessity. The way free toilet paper is available in bathrooms for one bodily process, we're fighting to get free menstrual products in, available in schools for another bodily process. The tax on period products was removed last year, which was a huge win for monetary accessibility, but there's still work to be done for physical accessibility to these products in Iowa. Another thing is we don't have a steady source of funding, so we're always in need of donations. And you can donate at www.loveforred.org. I am proud of the amount of people we have been able to help have dignity on their period. In just about two and a half years, our team of student ambassadors and volunteers have donated about 24,000 menstrual products. I am also proud of how much growth Love for Red has had. Everything used to kind of be a one-man show, but since I've gone to college, we've grown to about 20 team members strong. And I am also very proud of all of the work our student ambassadors and volunteers have done as well. <laughs>